It was a close game. Um, Bemidji gave us uh, all their effort, and uh, we were lucky we came away with a win here. And that fourth quarter, they really did kind of come back here. What was going on defensively? Uh, defensively, I mean, they, they challenged us at, uh, the second half. They made some adjustments, and uh, they were able to put some pressure on our DBs. Uh, overall, though, I, they were, I'm, I'm happy with our guys. We battled and uh, came, came away with a victory. What do you think the Bulldogs need to kind of focus on um, and do differently to avoid this kind of a comeback in future games? Uh, just keep that uh, relentless effort. Um, we got guys that are capable of making big plays, so we're not too worried about it. We know that we stick together as a defense and we'll do just fine. And coming into the next few um, final games of the regular season, what are kind of the main focuses for the team? The main focus is just keep doing what we're doing. Um, play relentless defense and uh, uh, take it to the next few teams that we play. Did you guys hold a rush offense that was averaging 275 coming into today to under 100? Yeah. Um, Bemidji has a good rushing team. We, we, we knew that we needed to shut down the run to be successful, and we were able to do that. All of our guys fit the gaps perfectly, and they had nowhere to go. What do you guys say to each other after they keep coming back, keep coming back, keep pushing? I said stick together, play Bulldog defense, and we'll come away with a win. Just overall thoughts on the game, being one of the co-players of the game today? Uh, Phenomenal effort all around. O line really did a did an awesome job setting the tone. Uh, Drew offensively, he led us all all game long, and then defensively they stepped up when they needed to, made plays. Uh, phenomenal effort, special teams, everybody. So uh, you mentioned Drew. Um, two of your touchdowns today were some great passes from quarterback Drew Bauer. Yeah. What's kind of that relationship between the two of you that works so well for us? It's just chemistry that's built over time. I mean, starting off season workouts, staying up summer working on routes. It's chemistry that's built trust that's built um, and that works with all of our receivers Richie, Boff, James, all of them. We just trust in all of us so it's, it's exciting. We saw a little bit of a comeback from Bemidji State in that fourth quarter. Um, yeah. Can I explain that to us? <sighs> It's, it's the way we like to, it's the way we like to do things I guess all season long we've had uh, we've had some close games we like to keep the fans excited but we don't like it like that so hopefully we can learn from it and, and come back next week and, and finish teams off so and going into the final few games of the regular season what are kind of the team's overall uh, like main focuses expectation still the same come out and execute the game plan um, we expect uh, we expect to dominate every play so so we got to come out, get healthy, and and be ready next week to to bring a, a bring a, bring our best effort. You guys moved to 30 0 today against uh, North Division opponents. Why are you guys so dominant at home? Do you feel? Coaches um, and then our execution. They get us prepared to play, and fans are always always more at home. We travel we travel well for fans, but there's always a lot more fans at home, so that always helps bring in some energy. Um, and there's nothing quite like the field here and the atmosphere. Thank you. Coach, just overall thoughts on today's game? Well, uh, a good team win. You know, we, we came out in the first half of that football game, controlled it offensively, played real well defensively, and, you know, we, we knew Bemidji was a good football team. We turned the ball over in the second half. It flipped momentum in that game, and, and Bemidji did a good job coming back, and, you know, you, you have to tip your hat to them. They, they did a good job, and it was it feels good to get a win against a, a, another good football team. And like you said, kind of with that comeback, what do you as a head coach kind of say to the team, just keep momentum going, keep going? Um, the players yeah, I, there, I don't know if there's anything specifically that you talk to your team about. It's you know wins like that, and you know I, that's our fourth, our fifth, fourth quarter win of the, of the season. It speaks to the maturity of our football team that they can take a deep breath. Although things were starting to unravel, there we still needed to make enough plays, and you know part of the part of the way our guys competed today. And um, in past games, we kind of saw a variety of touchdowns from a variety of players, but today we saw you know with uh, two different um, players of the games. What are you thinking with that offense? That really between um, Baltz and Bauer and <laughs> uh, all three of those guys have a lot of confidence in one another and you know Drew Bauer had another great game you have to give credit to our offensive line those guys played extremely well today against a good defensive front and a good defense so you know Drew Bauer is going to get the ball to Jason Botts and, 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 and Bo Boffording uh, you know for Bo, Bo Boffording to come in and, and play tailback the way he did, did today was fun to watch and going into the uh, final few games of the regular season what is the team's main focus is? well the, uh, this doesn't change our focus on the season. You know, it's one week at a time, one game at a time, and you know we had the crooks next week. We've got to make sure we get healthy, uh, refocus, and 
you know, do a good job tonight, heading in tomorrow, and, and continue to take it one game at a time. Just how big was it for Bo to come in there after Walker went down? Yeah, Bo Boffordine's a guy that we've used him about every position this year. You know, he plays slot receiver, he'll play outside for us. He's played in the backfield. He does a really good job in the kicking game, and um, he's a senior. You know, with a with a lot of a lot of snaps underneath his belt. So he's a guy that we expect to do what he did today. And one more time, he stepped up and had a great game. What was different as far as pass defense for you guys from the first second half? Well, we, we didn't get as much pressure on the quarterback in the second half. And, you know, when, when you can't get pressure on the quarterback, your secondary is going to suffer. And, um, you know, we'll take a look on film, you know, I don't care if we win, you know, three to nothing or 54-47. We got to win. Uh, our defense has played phenomenal the last three games. Struggled a little bit today, but we're going to move on. Thanks, coach.